Tech in 5. Full Stack Fast. Master Web Development Essentials in 5 Minutes. Build a web server and launch our new series on app development with modern tools. Welcome to Tech in 5. In today's episode, we're kicking off a new series about building and deploying a web application. First, let's talk about Docker. Docker is a powerful platform that allows developers to create, deploy, and run applications in containers. Think of container as a lightweight, standalone, executable package that includes everything needed to run a piece of software. This means your application runs in a consistent environment no matter where the container is deployed. Today's goal is simple but foundational. We'll create a Docker container that serves a static HTML page. This might sound basic, but it sets the stage for more complex applications as we move forward. By the end of this video, you'll have a web server running in a Docker container, ready to serve up your content to the world. Now, let's get Docker installed on your computer. First, head over to the official Docker website at docker.com. Here, you'll find Docker Desktop for your platform. Once Docker is installed and you have your Docker ID, you're all set to start containerizing your applications. If you need help installing Docker, check out our previous step-by-step -step tutorial, Running Python in Docker Container. Now, let's get into the heart of Docker, the Docker file. This is essentially a recipe for building your Docker image. It tells Docker what environment your application needs to run and what it should do once it starts. First, we choose a base image. For our web server, we'll use Nginx. Why Nginx? Well, it's renowned for its efficiency and performance, especially when it comes to serving static content. Nginx is also incredibly lightweight, particularly the Alpine version, which is based on Alpine Linux. This version keeps our Docker image small, which enhances the setup's efficiency and speed. Next, we'll copy our HTML file into the image. This is done using the copy command. This line tells Docker to expose port 80 on the container. This is the standard port for HTTP traffic and exposing it allows your server to communicate with the outside world. And that's it for our Docker file. By doing this, our server will serve our index.html page right out of the box when the container starts. Now let's take a look at our index.html file. This is the web page that our Docker container will serve. It's a simple HTML document designed to display a hello world message. This straightforward setup is perfect for demonstrating how our web server delivers content. In the next step, we'll see how all this looks live from our Docker container. First, we use the docker build command to build our Docker image. Docker build tells Docker we want to build a new image. We assigns a tag to our image, naming it web server container for easy reference. The period at the end specifies the current directory, indicating that Docker should look here for the Docker file. With our image built, it's time to run it. We use the command docker run. This command starts a new container from our web server container. The port option maps port 80 inside the container, where Nginx is serving our site, to port 8080 on our host machine. This mapping avoids conflicts with any services that might already be using port 80 on the host. Now, we can open a web browser and go to localhost at port 8080. The hello world message is served straight from the Docker container. And just like that, we've built and launched a web server in Docker that serves our static HTML page. This setup is not only quick but also extremely portable. And that wraps up our first episode of Full Stack in 5. Today, we successfully built and ran a Docker container that serves a static HTML page using Nginx. Not only did you learn how to set up a Docker file and deploy a simple web server, but you also saw how seamlessly Docker handles these tasks, ensuring that your application runs consistently across different environments. Looking ahead, we'll take this foundation and build upon it. In our next episode, we'll delve into setting up React within our Docker environment. This step will prepare us to transform our simple static site into a vibrant and interactive web application. Stay tuned, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our journey through building modern web applications five minutes at a time. See you in the next episode. Stay tuned for more videos on Tech in 5.